What's going on YouTube? In today's video, we'll be talking about yet another portrait retouching software called On One Portrait AI 2021. It is indeed a good time to be alive. With the advancement of technology, artificial intelligence can now be applied in the face and skin retouching software programs. On One Portrait AI 2021 is the portrait editing software that uses machine learning to find every face in your photo and make them look great automatically. It analyzes each face and adds just the right amount of retouching to the skin, eyes, and mouth, giving you professional results in no time at all. So without further ado, let's open up On One Portrait AI, edit a few portraits, and let's see if it's any good. Let's use this image right here. And as we open it, the program tries to find faces in the image. And then it automatically applies a subtle retouching preset. Let me toggle the effect on and off so you can see the difference. Alright, so before we start editing, let me walk you through the different sections of the software. Over here on the left side, there is the option for the crop so you can recompose your image as needed. Faces, which will try to find faces and automatically retouch them. Retouch, for removing skin blemishes and imperfections. And view, for zooming in and out of the image. Then over here we have the presets. And if we click the back arrow right here, there are three preset categories for portraits, which are children, female, and male. And obviously for this image, we need to select female. And then it will show us different presets available according to the age of the subject, as well as the intensity of the retouching effect. We'll skip these for now and move on to the rest of the sections of the software. Right here above are the zoom options, where we can manually move the slider or click on these other view options. Down here we have another slider for the zoom, the comparison slider, show or hide the mask view, enable or disable soft proofing, and the preview button. And then here on the lower left corner, we have the option to show or hide the left pane or switch to the detail view. Over here in the top right, we have the navigation view, levels, which shows the histogram, info to show the file properties, and history, which shows all the changes we've made on the image. This section over here is the portrait AI panel, where the face and skin retouching happens. You can choose to add another face if you have more than one face in the picture. And right over here shows the mask that was applied to this image. You can choose to show or hide this panel, Show or hide the blending options of Portrait AI. Reset it. Or remove it. And then over here is the Opacity slider to increase or decrease the intensity of the effect. This drop-down option allows us to select the style of Portrait AI. There's Legacy, Default, and we can even create and save our own style. Alright. It is best to describe the rest of the functions down here when we start editing this image. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's reset all the changes and start from scratch. Please note that this is my own editing workflow. Feel free to edit your images however you want. Okay, so the first thing I usually do is remove skin defects such as pimples and wrinkles. So we click the retouch function here on the left, and then to resize the brush, we just press the left and right square bracket keys. Then we click on a spot that we want to remove and let the AI do the rest. Let me go ahead and fast forward this step. Alright, once we're done, we can proceed with the face and skin retouching. Let's view the image at 25%. Then let's move the retouching slider all the way to 100 and see the effect. Then we click the details section right here and adjust these sliders below until I get the desired effect. Please note that this is objective and a personal preference, so feel free to adjust these values according to your taste. Okay, so this is the before, 
after. I believe this is too much, so let me decrease the retouching slider. Alright, that's better. We now go to the face section. Let's slim the face a little bit and enlarge the left eye so that there is symmetry with the right eye. Moving on to the eye section, I'll increase the eye whitening and detail, remove dark circles, and enhance the eyebrows. Before, after. And for the mouth section, I'll increase the lip vibrancy and decrease the lip brightness. Okay, I think that's all there is to edit this image. So let's go ahead and export this by clicking the export button down here and click export now. So this is the original image and this is the retouched with On One Portrait AI. What do you think? Are you impressed with this software? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. So this is On One Portrait AI 2021 in a nutshell. It is another option among a multitude of portrait editing software in the market. In my opinion, I would still prefer editing in Photoshop. That's because I'm very much familiar with how to use it, and I like the effect. I have established my own editing workflow, and I find it that it already works pretty well for me. But don't be afraid to explore and try out other editing tools because you might find the one that suits you. If you want to try out this software for free, I'll post a link down in the video description. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and click on the bell icon to turn on notifications. I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for watching.